Hello there, this is Nopename. In my previous video I showed you my um, storage inside the jukebox that can um, yeah, hold up to 8 mbit, uh, mbyte, megabyte of uh, integer values. And I mentioned in that video that I am currently working on a computer inside Minecraft. It's kind of like the uh, 2.0 version of my MC64, that's why I called it like that. And the cool thing about it is all the data is stored inside this chest. And in today's video I want to show you the program editor. It's still work in progress but it already looks uh, quite fancy and that's why I want to show it to you. So this is what it looks like. Um, above here there's nothing. Um, you have to set your chat to certain settings um, once I uh, give you the computer for a download and if you want to use it. Um, so it looks exactly like this. <coughs> um, you have to set the scale to 50% for example. But yeah. Um, Alright, so this is part of a program here. Here you can see the uh, number of a command. And in here is the currently selected command. You can edit it. You can add um, a new command at this position and all the other commands, including the command that is currently at this position will be moved one uh, down. And the last command will be deleted because you only have 1024 uh, commands in total. And if you remove it, this will this command will be removed. And therefore, at the very end, a new command, a new empty command is added. Um, I haven't implemented all the commands yet. Um, yeah, the way uh, you can see them here. Uh, and all of them, they have no fun functionality yet. I have to do that later. But I know how to do that and I know that it works. Um, if you don't believe me, you can <coughs> click on the top right corner here um, where you can find a video of my MC64 of the first version. And in that version I um, focused on making the program actually work um, at the beginning instead of making the program editor. And because of that you had to program it using or by, by writing cryptical numbers into memory. And here you can write the commands, but therefore they don't work yet. <laughs> so yeah, um, all right, you can see some stuff here. This is a declaration of a variable <coughs> and this is the end of a while loop. There's no start. This is end, the end of a program. This is an empty command. This is a function or the head of a function, however you call that. Um, this is a comment and another declaration. And as you can see, you can move through the program using these buttons. And let's see. Um, here we don't have a command yet, so I will click on this. And these are all the commands currently available. I am going to add more in the future. <coughs> but I just had to figure out some stuff, how everything works. So we can do um, else. And we have to um, click on yes. And now it's in the code here. And we can remove the comment <coughs> and let's add another function. Um, first of all, we can input the name test. And for some reason, this uh, bracket here is green. It should be um, orange as well. I don't know why. And yes, we want to add a parameter. And value doesn't work yet, so we are going to add a variable. And we can name it however we want. Now it's in here and we can add another variable. You can have up to six variables. Uh, no, we won't, don't want to add another one and we want to save it. And now it's here. 
and we can add another comment. So um, variable names can be up to 10 um, characters and um, comments and strings, a comment is a string, they can be up to 64 uh, yeah, characters long. And there's even space. And we can click OK, and now it's here. Um, yeah, there isn't that, uh, much more to show yet. Um, I have to add more commands, and then I have to add functionality to them, as I said. But yeah, I thought this is really cool. <laughs> um, it's kind of string manipulation in Minecraft. And I hope you enjoyed it. And in case you're wondering how this works, um, the basic idea behind this is, let's see, um, data, get, block, items, there's an item in here and the item has a certain tag and I mentioned in my previous video that you can add whatever tags, NBT tags to items uh, you want as long as they um, have the NBT syntax and I called it sys for system and let's see I think I can use TMP oh I have to uh, change the game rule yes um, you can see <coughs> the NBT data at this position in the block um, is just an empty list and we can modify it modify oh I have caps lock on and we can um, append, so set at the end of a list um, a certain value and we can input an A. And if we print it out again, you can see there's an A in here and if I append a Z, I now have two characters in this list and using Telro, oh wait, let me uh, copy that, Telro at a um, nbt um, yes and the nbt path and then block minus 64 1 minus 64 um, I can print out uh, this list and if I do this it will print out the first element of the list, which is A. And um, I can copy this text extra. Wait a second. Uh, like this. And now I am going to put this in here. And now it's going to print out the full list. And that way I'm building the strings for this uh, program editor. The basic idea is quite simple, but uh, making this whole thing work the way it is, it's quite complicated. <laughs> but yeah, it works as you can see. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.